So here we're going to be unboxing the Eco B3 Lite. First you need to remove the cellophane around the box. Which is a little bit harder to do when you're looking through a camera lens. Once we get it all off there, the box pulls out from the side. box flips open from the top and then you're greeted with a good presentation of just the clean thermostat itself. The way it's designed is it just snaps into the mounting plate that you put onto the wall. We'll set that aside and you pull up this little insert and you're greeted with a way to find a pro to install it or if you're following this video you've got the guide on how to install it yourself. You have the labels to label your existing wires based on how they are plugged in. You've got the wall mounting bracket. This will cover later. Then you have the additional power splitter that you only need if you do not have a C wire on your thermostat. So be on the lookout for the C. Then we have the mounting screws. Underneath this, we have the wider plate to cover any paint or damage on the wall, which you will see later. So we'll bring in a picture of the things that I am going to mount. Just a larger mounting bracket, the one to hold the thermostat, and the thermostat itself. And now we're going to go over to the wall. So now we're over at my thermostat. This is my old first-gen Google Nest thermostat. I'm just going to pull that off, reveal the wires. They're all colored and then have the letter that identifies them. So I went ahead and took a picture of this because I find it's always best to take a picture so you know where you started just in case something goes wrong. Then I go ahead and disconnect each individual wire, starting with the blue wire. And then once you've got them all disconnected from the thermostat, you can go ahead and kind of bundle them up in the middle so then you can pull the outer housing out. So then I go ahead and just take the power drill and remove the screws top and bottom. And then this old Nest thermostat bracket just pops right off. Now we take a second to pull off the outer plate as well. And we reveal that the painters did not take my old thermostat off the wall when they painted. So now we put the wires through the larger plate first. Uh, kind of cover up as much of that non-painted area as we can and then we put the thermostat mounting bracket over it from there it kind of snaps to the larger frame itself kind of holds it together there and then the screws that we put in the wall will permanently hold those two pieces together as one so once we get all the wires through I just kind of let it hang there for a second and go get the power drill and the screws that came with the Ecobee 3 Lite in the box. And then we start by you putting in the top screw loosely. Uh, if you can, in the if there's a previous hole in an appropriate spot, you could feed it through that or start a new spot if it'll help hide the majority of any paint discoloration or damage on the back. So we screw it in loosely, and then the thermostat mounting bracket has a nice little bubble level there at the bottom, already part of it. So now you can take the bottom screw and put it in the hole, and then with your left hand or right-handed, position the thermostat so it is level 
according to that bubble level. Then you put the screw into the bottom, hold it down tight while it's level, and once you get it level, you can go up to the top screw and while continuing to hold it level, screw that in and tighten it down. Once those are tightened down, you want to check and make sure that it is tight and isn't going to wiggle or go anywhere. Then we go ahead and look at the wires to start putting them back into their appropriate connection label. So with the Ecobee mount, you have the holes that are directly facing you, pointing away from the wall, and then the ones that are on the inside near where the wires are. The wires need to go into the inside holes with their corresponding letter, and then the thermostat itself will plug into those outward facing pins. Now again, the power supply unit, if you do not have the C wire, it would be installed in the wall behind this thermostat. So we will have a link in the description with the picture of what that would look like and the steps you would have to go through to connect it if you are missing that C wire. So we finish up putting all the wires in here, push them flush so they are out of the way of the thermostat. Then you take the thermostat itself, right side up, gently position it into uh, the connection pins and apply a little bit of pressure, you'll feel a snap, and then it snaps into place. You're greeted with a high, and then it'll take a moment to set up. You have a little bee that flies around on the screen. Then you're greeted with the Eco B logo. I found the first time booting up takes a, a moment, so don't be discouraged if it takes slightly longer than you expected to get it up and running. We're going to leave it up and give you guys a real-time example of how long it takes for it to boot up for the first time. And then we are going to jump into how to set up the app and then connect your thermostat to the app. So now it's finally progressing through the boot screen. And you get a welcome and a let's get started at the bottom. You click that Let's Get Started. So here is the app. After you've logged in, you'll be greeted with a screen where you add thermostat. And then it's going to ask you if you've already installed it. Then you're going to click Next. And then you're going to enter the code that displays on your thermostat once you've run through the setup then this is how it will display after you've installed the thermostat. It'll take a second to download all the data. It'll display your current temperature on your house. You'll also have the option to open up the weather and play more thoroughly with the app.